So the question is, is do you need media passes in order to get great photos? No. <laughs> Is having media access nice? Absolutely. There are some tracks to, to get certain types of shots. You can only get it from certain locations. Um, but that being said, if you're new and trying to uh, build a portfolio of motorsports photography, you know, things like that, do you have to have media access to get great shots? No. Uh, you can get them from most publicly accessible places. So my recommendation is just get out there and do it. Um, you, you know, you're gonna have to get more creative, but is that a bad thing? Probably close to 75% of my images that I take are still from publicly accessible places. Um, why? Um, well, because I've had my media credentials denied. Either I've applied you know, too late, or, uh, you know, they've uh, just an item because they've already got the, the number of spots filled, uh, which does happen. Uh, they only have so many spots that they can fill for media, and, um, you know, sometimes you don't get it. Um, that sucks. You know, let's face it, it actually sucks, especially when you have a client that's already uh, paying you to uh, go and, and produce for them. Um, so with that, that's why I actually enjoy shooting from some of the publicly accessible places is because that way I can uh, still get in there, still get shots um, for my client. That's what really matters, right? So the way that the credential process works is typically you'll apply for those credentials. Um, obviously you have to have a media outlet. Uh, that you are working for otherwise chances are you're gonna get denied um, and even if you are working for a media outlet you still might get denied um, but uh, but yeah that's kind of the process and unfortunately you typically don't find out until about a week before the event whether you've been approved or denied um, that that's kind of a little bit of a problem in the sense that typically you book your uh, flights and hotel rooms and rental cars everything in advance so that you can try to uh, get the best rate possible um, and then when you find out last minute that you didn't make the cut um, you know you've kind of got to determine what it is you're gonna do are you gonna cancel and give up altogether or are you gonna still step foot on that plane and and go and uh, try to get the best shots that you can for your client from the locations that you can. Um, comes down to problem solving. So most facilities have publicly accessible places that you can take photos. Um, you know, when you get into like the street circuits, there are usually parking garages or structures kind of around that you can have access to um, that give you an, an advantage um, to get photos. Um, you know, when you're on some of the, uh, the, the road course style tracks, uh, they have a lot of wooded areas or viewing mounds, uh, you know, things like that for general admission uh, that actually make for great shots and you can get a lot of foreground elements into those shots. Um, when you're at the speedways, uh, you can, I mean, you can get them from the stands, um, you know, in, in certain spots. Um, so, like I said, I mean, it's, it's one of those that you're just going to have to find those locations, scout them out, and uh, make lemonade out of lemons. Alright, so if you found this video helpful in any way, shape, or form, uh, I'd love to hear your comments, um, your experiences of, of trying to shoot motorsports and, and things like that. Um, so please, if you are in the mood, leave a comment below and uh, we'll see you in the next video.